Hey guys, welcome back to Vital Ground Outdoors. Uh, today I kind of wanted to do a quick video of kind of what I'm doing to get up the tree. It's not going to be a full climb video, but it's going to highlight my products and some of these awesome, awesome tethered products here. Um, if you've been following a while, you know I love the Fast Pack. It has been an absolute game changer as far as packs go, and I've gone and bought a million and one packs. But I really want to show you the beauty of integrating, say, the Fast Pack and the Predator all in one. All right. So you no longer have to clip your uh, platform to the back of your saddle, to the side of your saddle. The only thing we're going to clip there is our sticks. So let's hang out. Stay tuned. Vital. All right, guys. So we're we're about we're at the tree. OK, all I do simply I remove my fast pack. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to unsnap my climbing sticks, lay them against the tree. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook the G hook on the predator pack. Sometimes it gets a little jammed in there. Um, and then from there, what I've established here is I want to climb my, I want to make my climb without having to put anything extra on my saddle so it doesn't cause any sagging, it's not swaying around. I came up with what I'm calling my predator leash system. And it allows the predator, uh, predator to stay in the predator pack on the fast pack until I get to the top of the tree. I'm gonna put my pack back on. My leash is attached to the D-ring on the fast pack. And now I'm gonna get ready to make my climb. What I do with my sticks is I have a, a click-in stick here, which is also another product of mine that I snap in there and it keeps my sticks attached to my saddle low enough to where they stay out of the way. Um, what I find best is when you're hanging your sticks, keeping the standoffs facing out. That way then, when I get to the tree, I can just pop it off like that. See that, that was no noise. I'm going to get ready to hang my stick. Now I'll put my stick up. kind of where I need it to be. And as you can see, relatively everything is quiet. Now, I'll get my Lyman's belt out. My tether. My lineman's belt around the tree. I'm gonna get connected here. And what I'll do is with this extra, you know, cordage, um, I was slipping it down through here and letting it hang, but my buddy Jared over on Tethered, he suggested you just wrap it like so. And so I just wrap it and let it go like that. It's very clean. There's a million ways you can wrap it. So from now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna start my, my first climb. Make sure I get my foot into the tree, okay? My toe in. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna climb up this aider. To the top of my stick. And say we're at the top of the tree right now. And I'm gonna ditch these other sticks real quick. Okay, I wanna hang my platform. So, so I'm at the top of my stick here and I wanna remove my predator. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that leash. I'm gonna pull my predator right out. I'm gonna disconnect right here. 
that goes back behind. Then I get my platform ready to go. And if you're new to Vital Ground Outdoors, I use what's called a PSH. It is unique to my storefront, but it works extremely well with the Predator. So all I'm doing there is I'm passing it out. Pushing it over, just like so. Get my platform nice and tight. I'm gonna push down. Do it again. Sometimes it bites way too hard, as you can see. But now I'm good to go. Now I can tether in. I'm gonna get all my ropes tie in up here and I'm ready to hunt that easy all right so now we're ready to come down from the tree I get questions how do you come down do you rappel down do you use aiders down I do a mixture of both it all depends on what I'm doing primarily when I climb with sticks I'm and I'm using fixed aiders I climb down um it's just I'm used to it so the one question I'm gonna get on the Predator leash system that I have is, can you put the Predator back in the Predator pack without taking off your pack? The answer is no. Um, unfortunately, you have to do that. So my system of operations would be, after I clear everything out up here and I'm down on my stick, I'm going to then just lift up here. I'm gonna remove the PSH off of the tree. So now my platform is you know, relatively loose. And these are one of these shad hickories. they are a pain in the butt. What I'll do is I'll get my platform all situated, put my PSH back on, cinch it all down, get it all ready to wrap up here. And I'm just rolling it back up. And then what I'll do is this is the only time I take off my pack once it's on me is I'll just take it off. And usually what I try to do, I rest it right on my lion's belt and I'll slip it right into the pack. And I won't even bother hooking it up until I'm all the way down, um, cause I'm on my way out of the hunt. And I just throw the predator pack on or the fast pack back on and then I'm ready to descend. So descending in my system, I know some people get sketched with aiders and rightfully so, um, it's, it's definitely not one of those systems um, that a lot of guys feel comfortable with. But what I try to do is I try to keep a lot of my weight back into my butt and I use my hands, point of contact. When I go to make that first step, I wanna feel the aider. I wanna find it and feel it and I fish my foot in. Now from here, this is where I lower my lineman's belt. And then I take the next step. But notice how I have backwards pressure in my saddle. My foot is placed, my toe is placed on the tree. From there, I remove my next foot. I pull myself in and I naturally let my lineman's belt fall. So I don't have to really touch it. Last step, now you see how the lineman's belt is parallel with me or perpendicular, I should say. Then I'll take my last foot off. Again, using my stick as a support but while still keeping pressure back, I just kind of hip thrust in, drops the lineman's belt. I pull out, slack, undo, and you're good to go. All right, guys, that is how I conduct my climb. That's how I get up the tree and down the tree. That's how I integrate the tethered fast pack, the predator pack, and the predator all in one without hanging anything additional off my saddle except for my climbing sticks. Um, coming down, just note that I may use the rope and kind of drop them to the floor versus trying to stack them and put them up here. I find that's a lot easier. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at vitalgroundoutdoors.com. Uh, and please head over to tetherednation.com. Give them a like, a share, follow. Pick yourself up a fast pack, a predator, predator pack. You will not be sorry. And if you got any extra cash to spare, Grab yourself a set of tethered ones. Light a stick on a planet, my go-to stick for everything.
vital.